Next question is from Stones and Lead. How can you tell the difference between fatigue and tiredness? When should or shouldn't you try to push through it? This is a good question because it's a hard one to explain, but I will say this. This might help. Rarely does, rarely is the answer not movement. Sometimes it is, but rarely is that the answer. Now, the kind of movement you do, this is where there's a big difference. So what I do if I feel fatigued or tired, rarely will I not do a workout. But what I will do is I'll start and I'll go very easy and very light. And if it's just me being unmotivated, usually what happens is I start to feel more energy and I start to feel better. And then I start to ramp up my workout. If I'm actually tired and my body's like literally like really fatigued in a real way, the light workout, I can tell. I do the light workout, I'm moving, or I'm just going for a walk. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm I'm definitely tired. I'm gonna keep it very easy. And it's not bad for you. It's actually quite recuperative. Now, if it's the kind of tiredness or fatigue that you need to not work out, usually you feel almost ill. That's that's my experience where you're like, oh man, I don't, I have a headache. I really don't feel good. I need to go to bed. But usually any movement, so long as it's appropriate, is is probably a good idea. Do you guys remember the conversation that we had with uh, Dr. Andy Galpin around this? I was, that, oh, optimizing that, versus, versus yeah, adapting. and that stuck with me, and and it reminds me of like this question right now. And one of the th points that he was making was that there's also benefits to being tired and exhausted and pushing the body still occasionally. So I think the answer to me for this question is, if this is a a, a once in a while thing, I think there's actually lots of benefits to you know, oh man, I didn't sleep very well, I'm a little tired, whatever that, I'm gonna push through and still get after it. That every once in a while, if this is a consistent thing that's yeah. reoccurring where you're not getting a lot of sleep almost every night and you're constantly yeah. pushing the then body you're just in the gym, your tires. That's right. Yeah. So I I think if this is like a, a one off where it's just like man, just today I just don't feel like it. Like there's I think there's tremendous value in pushing through that. But if this is you are consistently tired mm -hmm. and feeling fatigued going into workouts, then you probably need to look at your sleep, your diet, yeah. stress, and other factors in your life. So that's kind of how I try and look at it now is that if this is something that's yeah. considered a repeat offender, right. Yeah, versus just, just yeah. one time, because I think I want to be careful. Uh, I, or before we had that conversation with, uh, Andy Galpin, I, I kind of had more the, the I think the point Sal's coming from, which is, hey, nothing, just take it back off a little bit. But then you tell that to a client that is already unmotivated to train and work mm -hmm. out, and it's kind of like giving them the pass that, oh, you feel tired today, don't don't worry about pushing hard. So then they they never stretch their capacity because they got the they got yeah. the okay from their trainer that, hey, if you feel a little tired, nothing wrong with like taking it easy. So it really depends on who I'm talking to on if they would have value with pushing. Now, taking the opposite example, somebody who is addicted to the gym. They train seven days a week. They're always getting after it. And then they have a day like that. I'm going to lean more towards what Sal is saying, which is, Hey, like back off, take it easy. Like you're, you're consistent as hell. You train hard all the time. Your body's obviously telling you you're not feeling well right now with that. doesn't hurt to bring up, uh, drop the intensity. But if it's somebody who has a hard time being even consistent in the gym and they're always looking for an excuse of why they shouldn't lift or why they shouldn't push their body, it probably, there's probably more value in them pushing through. Yeah. I've seen both. Both scenarios, and that's a good point to bring up because it's um, you. Sometimes you have to talk some of uh, your your fanatical gym people off a cliff and be like, "You need to address this. Like, this is a signal of the body that's telling you, uh, you, you know, you're either not getting enough sleep or, or you know, recovering properly, which means like you're really not pushing forward. You're not adapting. You're you're just uh, uh, you know healing and then you know trying to to um, you know keep going in just survival mode." Uh, versus, yeah, like uh, the majority of clients though that we had were uh, the, the biggest issue was frequency. It was just to get them in and to just keep going and to know that they could, uh, they have another operating system even when they aren't feeling up to it that they can pull from. So, yeah, it, it really does depend yeah, on, now, on the individual. Adam, uh, because you're, you're you're right now experiencing some kind of lingering, right? It's like two and a half weeks past. Yeah, I'm not better. training. Right, but you're, are you also not moving, or are you doing? Uh, I mean, I move, I, I move a little bit, but to be honest with you, I mean, it's so I'm so fatigued and so tired that it. I mean, I was playing uh, 
with the, my, we have like a little Fisher Price basketball hoop in our house, with, and I was playing with Max. You just dunking on him? Yeah, just, yeah, <laughs> playing just around. Swatting, like twenty minutes, attempt. literally, and yeah. then I like right afterward fell on the beanbag, passed out, snoring at like three o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. So I'm really like I'm definitely feeling the effects of the, the long COVID, they call it, right? So, uh, and I'm not, and I'm not worried about. It. I'm not training, like so. I, sh I want to, you know, I told Katrina last night, man, I really want to get in and maybe I'll do a little lift tomorrow. But I'm so, I'm so feeling under the weather that I'm not even thinking about pushing my body right now. In fact, I'm more concerned that doing that may send me backwards. Right. I'm not, and I know I'm losing muscle. I know I'm getting weaker. Like I know that I'm very aware of that, but I'm, I'm not allowing that to be my driver of my decision on should I lift or train today or not. And so, you know, for me, going to the grocery store or walking around the block for 15 minutes is, is strenuous enough that it's putting me in, knocking me out. So thinking that if I go get under a barbell and start squatting, even at 30% intensity still is too probably much. too much for me. So.